Hello everyone. I finally made the plunge and I decided to get the move controllers and the charger in the middle. Um, I did not want, I didn't get the the sports championship bundle because I already have the camera and personally I don't really give a crap about the game. I played it. It's similar to Wii Sports. I, I just really don't care about those kinds of games. So I decided to get it this way for roughly the same price. I, not roughly, actually exactly the same price. Uh, what I got is the actual move controller, which is this. The navigator, the navigation controller, and the charger. Now this is not the Sony one. Uh, all my other chargers are Energizer and I figured, you know what, let me keep it the same style. So that's really the whole idea behind that. So, from what I understand with the Move controllers, is that it's Sony's version of the Wii. It's more advanced, and obviously the games are going to be in high def. And I've, and there are some games that are starting to come out now that are actually appealing enough that I decided to just take the plunge. Let me get the controllers. That way, when the games comes out, I get those. So I'm going to, instead of doing separate videos, I'll just do this in one shot. So, uh, let me cut open the Move Controller. And of course, these are in blister packs. So I guess what I'll do, I'll just skip to the next scene and just open it. Alright, I cut the back. Uh, this you get a instruction manual. I'll probably look at that later. And behind this is the move controller. It already has a strap on it. And this is the move controller with the snowball on top. This is actually really soft. Now, first of all, this is actually really comfortable to hold. Uh, let me let me grab my Wii controller. That way, it's a little side by side comparison. This here's my Wii controller with the Wii Motion Plus. Now, of course, they got the new versions now that the Wii Motion Plus is built into the controller, so you don't have this uh, extra thing on the bottom anymore. But for the most part, they're about the same size. Uh, without the Motion Plus attachment. You know, it's about like that uh, with it. It's roughly the same size. Now the Wii controller is doesn't feel bad in your hands. But because these controllers are more just for that, for motion-based gaming. Because obviously with the Wii, they kind of design it this way. That way you can hold it on its side and use it like an NES controller. Well, the PS3... You just use your DualShock controller, so they don't have to make it in a way that you turn it on its side and use it like a gamepad. Just use it strictly as a motion controller, which makes sense. Now, obviously, with this, uh, if I get close enough, in the middle there, you got your move button. You got your PlayStation button right there. X, circle, square, triangle buttons. On the side, you got a start select and you got your trigger and of course the information on it and on top here is your snowball uh, this will actually light up and you that's how the uh, that's how the, the PlayStation I would pick up this is what reads on the PlayStation I is the ball on top so for the most part this is actually really comfortable and yeah, let's uh, move on to the navigation controller. All right, uh, I opened up the navigation box. Here's a manual for the navigation controller. Same thing like before, pop this out. And here is the navigation controller. 
Now obviously this control is much lighter and there's no wrist strap in here. I thought there would be one. Huh, okay. Uh, I don't know if they forgot to include one or just the navigation controllers don't have wrist straps. It makes sense why they don't put them because these, from what I understand, there's no motion in these things. It's strictly just a control pad for the most part. You got your analog stick, D-pad, X, circle, PlayStation button, and your L and R triggers on the back but there's no waving you sit you you really just hold this and just use this like this and that's it while the move controller is actually your motion and that's why there are games that require two move controllers while others use one and then just a navigation controller on the side note On the side note, you don't have to get this, okay? You can just get a move controller and just hold your DualShock controller on its side like so. And so essentially what you'll be doing is this. But for me, I was thinking about just doing it this way. This is just more comfortable to use this way. And, you know, I'm spending 50 bucks plus $15 for the charger. Let me just add another 30 and just get the navigation controller. I don't really plan on getting a second one, maybe in the future. But I'm not, I'm not going to use this for, like, sports-type games. I'm using this more for first-person shooters or games that just require just the move controller and the navigation. So, that's the two controllers. Now, let's take a look at the charging system. Now, keep in mind, I could have gotten the Sony branded, and I was thinking about that. It was only $5 more. I got this one just because my other chargers are all Energizer. And I figure, you know what? Let me just stick with the same brand. And these uh, Energizer chargers are actually really good chargers. They're, they're actually one of, if not the best, uh, charging solutions for the game consoles. I have it for the Wii. I have the induction charger. I also have it for the PS3 and 360. So I, I know how good this stuff is. And for 15 bucks, why not? So here's the charger. And this is actually pretty big. I'm actually really surprised how big this thing is. And the idea is, is that to charge it, you actually put it on like that. And then when you want the move controller, Like that. And of course, they do work. Well, they are on there pretty good. So, yeah. That, there it is. Um, I'll try this out. I'll try this charger out for a while. Uh, if I don't like this, I can always return the charger and get the Sony one. But the Sony one is not as big as this. I'm actually kind of surprised.
I'll, I'll mess around with the charger. Uh, hmm. Well, it does seem to contact them, so. But, uh, yeah, anyway. Uh, this is circular, just an unboxing video. Uh, I'll use them for a little while. Uh, there are some demos that do support this, so I'm going to try it like that. And uh, I'll give you a full-on review. I'll give a review on these two, and I'll do a review separately with the charger. If I say this, this particular Energizer charger is not really that good, I'll let you know. If it is good, I'll let you know too. But that's pretty much it. Like always, have a good one.